Welcome to video number four in our Getting Started with CrowdSec series. This video is all about CrowdSec's cyber threat intelligence and how you can start to query it to understand a bit more about the IP addresses that have been targeting your online systems. So there are actually a couple of ways to access our threat intelligence feed. The first is if we start in our alerts tab on the CrowdSec console, and take a look at some of these IP addresses that have been targeting our system the most. For example, this top one has targeted our system over a thousand times. So if we click on the IP address and then click this first link here that says show the IP in the CrowdSec CTI, this will actually bring up a threat intelligence report that will provide you and your security teams with a lot of additional context and information on this specific IP address that has been targeting your system pretty relentlessly. So for those of you that aren't familiar with how we collect our threat intelligence, this report is based on crowdsourced data. Thanks to the intelligence and the threat signals that have been collected by the entire CrowdSec user network. So during this video, I'm not going to explain in detail how exactly we collect this intelligence and how we curate it to ensure it's free from false positives. But if you're interested to learn some more about exactly how we do that, I have linked a link to one of our CrowdSec Academy courses in the description box just below, which will give you a complete overview of exactly how we curate this data. So that's the first method in how you can access our threat intelligence. The second method is if we click the CrowdSec Threat Intelligence tab just here, we actually have the ability to query any IP address that we want. So for the purpose of this walkthrough, I'm just gonna paste in the same IP address that we just saw. But again, as I say, you can run a query against our Threat Intelligence database against any IP address that you wish. So again, this pulls up the Threat Intelligence report. And this top section that you can see here will provide us with a brief summary of the IP address, including obviously the IP address, the IP address's range, the autonomous system number, which in this case has been anonymized, as well as the attack or the attack vectors that this IP address is most known for. It will also show us where this IP address is hosted from which country it's hosted from. And you can see in this case, it is hosted in China. And finally, it will give us a background noise score. So within the context of CrowdSec, background noise refers to some of the automatic and mild attacks that often occur over time and at a large scale, often without a specific target in mind. So these attacks include some activities like mass scanning, or brute forcing attempts on popular services, and they're typically not confined to one domain or specific infrastructure. So as you can see, this score ranges from one to 10. 10 meaning the IP address is engaged in non-targeted and random attacks, which essentially classifies it as background noise. So while we can see that this IP address has been persistent in targeting my system, this is because it is exerting a lot of attack attempts at scale across a load of different targets. If we scroll down the page here to the community report section, we will see a score, another score called the total score out of five. So this score really takes into account the aggressiveness of the IP address, the threats it has exhibited or the attack vectors or the attack types it's tried to exhibit and finally our confidence level of the insight so based on these factors we will then assign a score out of five starting from one to five and if the ip address has a score of five like this one does it means we are confident that this ip address is in fact malicious and some action should be taken to prevent it from accessing your system this section will also display what we call categories as well as the attack types that this IP address has been reported for. 
So the categories represent some of the characteristics of the IP. For example, we can see here that this IP address is known for exposing a VPN service. We can also see here that this IP address does in fact belong to the CrowdSec community block list, meaning CrowdSec or our internal consensus engine has validated this intelligence and has been shared with our global network of users. So again, if you're interested in learning exactly how our consensus engine works and how we determine or validate the intelligence of these signals, I have linked an academy course, one of our courses in the description box just below. We can also see the attack details of this IP address. So in other words, this shows us what attacks this IP address has been reported for. So in this case, we can see that it has been used to conduct a number of different brute forcing attacks. This section labeled aggressiveness will basically show us exactly when this IP address exhibited aggressive behavior and also the countries that it has targeted the most frequently. So we can see here, if we hover over some of these tiles, we get a date and we can also see an aggressiveness score from zero to five with five being the most aggressive. So we can really drill down into exactly when this IP address has shown aggressive behavior. And then as mentioned, we can also see the top targeted countries. So this IP address has been directing most of it attacks to Germany. We'll also get some insight into exactly when our security engine deployments have seen this IP address, which you can see here. And then finally, before I wrap this video up, I also want to let you know about the third way in which you can query our crowdsource threat intelligence data. And that is thanks to our CTI API. So if you're interested in learning how to query the API and exactly what that means and how you can use the API to enrich some of your existing security tools, I've left a few documentation links just below the video for you to review.